Thank you. Um, as I say it, the devolved regions were all very happy to be in lockstep with Westminster when it came to receiving and spending the Treasury's generous supports. Now that we've moved to easing out of lockdown, hopefully, there seems to be a preference for difference. Could I suggest to the First Minister that this should not be about the virility of devolution, nor is it about who's got the best slogan, but it could ultimately be about who's got an economy less left. And I'd like to hear from the First Minister a sense of urgency as to the resuscitation of our economy, because the stagnation of the status quo is going to do untold damage. It's very good to have a sat-nav that gives us the direction of travel, but if the sat-nav keeps saying, don't start the engine, then it's not really advancing us, is it? I welcome the fact that the member recognises that this is a sat-nav, so it's been described as a tunnel, and now it's been described as a sat-nav. I'm quite happy to take uh, both of those descriptions. Uh, I absolutely agree with the member that we have benefited greatly from our membership of the United Kingdom in terms of the economic packages that have been shared with us. And of course, our National Health Service um, uh, is part of uh, our kingdom as well. But what is important is that we have a localised response, and that, you know what? The Prime Minister recognises that. He recognises that through the new Joint uh, Biosecurity Centre. The fact is that we might have to have localised responses in relation uh, to this virus, and he knows that that is the case. Uh, I do agree with him uh, that it isn't so much uh, about the slogan, it's about the actions, and the actions are set out in uh, our paper. It's where we want to go to uh, in relation to getting the economy back up and running again, uh, and I fundamentally believe that Part of this is about public health, part of it is about getting our society back together again, but of course we need a good, strong economy to make sure that we have that in place for the well-being of our people in the future. Yes, but is the problem particularly for Northern Ireland not that whereas you might have all these goals, you can only move to any of them at the pace of the slowest because of the veto operating executive? that we have. So are we, in fact, in this part of the United Kingdom, not more likely to be held back from doing things we need to do for our economy and for these various steps because of the problems of operating mandatory coalition with a veto, and the result, you move at the pace of the slowest?